I'm not leaving my house or wanting to go out. I ran down and deadbolted the door because a lot of times I don't lock my door as much. You know, you, you have this feeling of safety out here on the island. Breaking right now, a Sanibel police officer is shot in a neighborhood put on lockdown. Minutes ago, we learned the suspect has been captured and the lockdown just now lifted. The incident happened near Sandcastle Road in Bailey near the Dunes neighborhood. The suspect exchanged gunfire with officers and ran away, according to Sanibel police. Police later found him in the neighborhood. He is now in custody. The causeway was shut down in both directions for more than an hour and opened up in just the last few minutes. Wink News reporter Ellen Thals is live on Sanibel and Ellen, at this point, what can you tell us? Well, right now you can see what's happening here on Perry Winkle. It is still partially closed. They are slowly letting cars through. I want to tell you what I saw just a couple minutes ago. There was an ambulance that came through here with sirens. I'm sorry, not sirens, but their lights on. I could see a deputy inside that ambulance as well as someone in the gurney. Again, we do not know exactly who that may be, but they did come from the Dunes neighborhood. And the one thing I want to mention, I'm not sure if we put it out there yet, but this officer was shot and injured during a routine traffic stop. That's how all of this started, and it has been a night of mayhem out here on Sanibel. As you mentioned, gunfire was exchanged. That suspect went into the Dunes neighborhood and was holed up for quite some time. The island was shut down. It was a very scary situation. I want to go ahead and have you listen to an interview now from a woman who heard some of that gunfire. I have a 12 year old and he's like mom get away from the window that's on the side of the you know closer to the more activity we've been camping out in the room on the other side of the house And as you can see here, as I mentioned, Perry Winkle is still partially closed down. They have one lane closed here, and they're just letting vehicles through one at a time. The causeway just opened up about 30 or 40 minutes ago. And again, an officer was shot. He was taken to Lee Memorial, and that suspect is in custody. As soon as we get any more information, we will, of course, get it to you. Live in Sanibel, Ellen Thals, Wink News Now. Ellen, thank you. Complete coverage now. Investigators report four separate violent exchanges between deputies and suspects within a short period of time. A deputy found this man foaming from the mouth, lying in a Pine Manor ditch on Thursday. When Jose Lugo woke up, investigators say he spit on that deputy and started fighting her on the ground. He's now facing charges for battery on an officer. On election day, this was the scene on the side of I-75 after a man attacked deputies. Investigators say Brian Rivera had abnormal strength when biting and punching deputies. Five people subdued him. And this is the most high profile. A suspect pictured savagely beating a deputy on the ground, according to the sheriff. An armed man saw the struggle and shot Edward Strother. And we want to get you back out live to the scene at Sanibel right now. Just to recap here, about 8 o'clock, we heard that an officer was shot during a routine traffic stop. For about two hours, the causeway was shut down, as well as the Dunes neighborhood, which is right off of the causeway there on Sanibel, shut down. Everyone was told to lock down while police tried to find the suspect. Within the last five, ten minutes or so, we're hearing police do have the suspect in custody. That officer was taken to Lee Memorial Hospital. We have several crews working this scene right now trying to get you the latest information. We have more crews on their way to Sanibel. We also have a crew at Lee Memorial Hospital working to learn more about the officer's condition. You can count on Wink News to bring you live coverage throughout the evening as we get the latest updates. Developing tonight, San Antonio police officers are searching for the person who shot and killed one of their own today. The police chief says Detective Benjamin Marconi died while he was writing a traffic ticket right outside the police headquarters. He was sitting in his cruiser when another car pulled up behind him. A man then walked up to the window and fired two bullets into his head. Marconi was a 20-year veteran of the department. The whole community is rattled by the deadly shooting. Most families will be celebrating the holidays. SAPD will be burying one of its own because of an ultimate act of cowardice by a suspect who will be caught and brought to justice. 
Police say that shooter is described as a man in his 20s or 30s with a slim build. They say he was driving a black sedan with chrome rims and tinted windows. Kennel Wink News to let you know when that man's caught. Developing tonight, a strong earthquake rattles Argentina. The magnitude 6.4 quake struck southwest of San Juan and northeast of Santiago, Chile. You can see in this video things rocking back and forth as the earthquake hit. Count on Wake News to update this story with the latest information as it becomes available. And tonight on Wake News, a man is behind bars accused of robbing the same Dunkin' Donuts where he'd just been fired. Deputies say the man held up a former coworker Saturday morning, pointing a sawed off shotgun to her face. She says she feared for her life. The Night Beats Ellen Thals explains exactly what happened. It was a scary scene here at the Dunkin' Donuts early yesterday morning. The owner told Collier County deputies the man behind the mask was a disgruntled ex employee who had recently been fired for stealing from the store. Deputies say this man, 21 year old James Taylor, forced his way into the store when it was opening. The worker says Taylor forced her to the ground and told her not to watch as he stole all the money from the registers, pointing a sawed off shotgun at her during the robbery. They say he then drugged the worker to the back safe and made her open it so he could get more money. He ended up running out with close to $300 in cash. Deputies say he then ran to the CVS just across the street where he ditched the shotgun and some of the clothes he was wearing. He picked up a bike he had stashed. Deputies were able to catch him just a block away. The worker Taylor robbed says she was able to identify him by his shoes because the whole time she was laying on the floor, too scared to look up. Taylor is facing several charges, including armed robbery and grand theft, and we did reach out to Dunkin' Donuts for comment. They declined. In Immokalee, Ellen Thals, Wink News Now. Killed over gym shoes. Coming up after the break, new details about the death of a congressman's grandson. Plus, a ship sinking with multiple people aboard. Coming up, brand new video of a Coast Guard rush rushing to rescue them. And high temperatures today were below average, and so were everyone else's across much of the southeast United States. But how cool will the temperatures be tomorrow morning? The forecast coming up. And Wink News is staying on top of breaking news in Sanibel. Here's what we know. An officer was shot during a routine traffic stop. The suspect ran away. A search ensued and the Dunes neighborhood was placed on lockdown. The officer was transported to Lee Memorial. Now the suspect has been captured and the lockdown lifted. Count on Wink News for more breaking coverage right after this.